Hello Youtubers, today I have a coin sorter concept to show you. This sorter will only accept nickels. So I have a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter down here. And currently this is locked. It doesn't twist all the way. And your output is right where this brown piece is. You just stick a gear there. You can hook it up to any device you want. So if I stick in a penny, it falls through. If I stick in a dime, it falls through. And with a quarter, I haven't hooked this up yet, but this is the piece that you will put your coins in through. The quarter is just too big to go in there. And if I do a nickel, a nickel can go through there. And if I stick a nickel in the machine, it just sits right there, doesn't fall through. When I twist it, and twist all the way, dumps out the nickel, and it triggers whatever dice device you have hooked up here. And then when you twist it back, it gets reset for next time. You're probably wondering how this works now, and I'm going to show you the mechanism. The most important part is this white pin back here. You'll notice there's a little gap back there that this pin gets caught in. You cannot twist without a coin. And when you stick in a nickel, you'll notice there is a two and a half block wide, or a two and a half stud wide gap there. I achieve that using one of these pieces. The nickel sits right in there. It can't fall through, and like the other coins, which fall through and get washed out down here. I'll just remove that for now. When the nickel is stuck in, you notice it lifts up the white pin just a little bit. Using a little hinge right here. Now when I twist it, you'll notice that the pin is able to clear the gap. The nickel then falls out, I assume there's a wall here, this doesn't flip back. Then when I twist it back, you notice that re um, these slants redirect the pin back down into the slot and it cannot twist again. I'll show you this one more time. Stick the nickel in here, it raises up the pin. The pin makes it past the gap. You spin it back. And it gets caught again. It's, it doesn't work so well without the back wall. And the other side here, I just have another um, piece that's moved over half a stud to prevent this from moving. I just push it over a little bit. So that is how this works. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.